Hello and welcome to my latest vlog and it's all about candles as you've guessed from the title and these are going to be my five current favourite candles. It is a collaboration with the very lovely Jackie who I connected with on Instagram like so many of us do these days. So Jackie will be going through her five favourites as well so please do watch her video once you finish watching this one and yeah let us know what you think. Jackie is a mum to two beautiful girls we obviously both love candles so we thought we would do this. I find that for um, our home in particular, candles are essential and they just bring a, I don't know, a sense of coziness and I do like fragrance as well. So it all depends on what you like, but I personally feel like um, a home isn't a home without candles basically. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this one, which is Next Sea Salt and Lemon. It's very simple in terms of its appearance. As you can see, nothing fancy, but it smells divine. And I have to say, this one reminds me very much of Seychelles by The White Company. Um, Seychelles is one of my favorite candles of all time. I don't know why, it reminds me of Mauritius <laughs> when I went on my honeymoon to Mauritius and I don't know what it is about that fragrance. I love it, the way it just lingers in the room. Now I love candles so much that I actually went on a candle making course for my 40th. It was a gift given to me by my, my husband and I loved it. I didn't really know much about candle making before I went but it was just really nice to be able to sit with a group of, I think there was about four of us. Uh, so it's quite sort of an intimate group. And we learnt about oils and, you know, the types of sort of wicks that you can use, the types of wax you can use. It was just really fascinating. So I think if, you know, just as a little idea, if you are interested in candles, definitely go on a candle making course because you end up learning quite a few bits and pieces which you probably wouldn't even have thought of. Um, and it all kind of impacts the way you look at fragrance as well, I think. So I know that we all have very different tastes in, in terms of fragrance. So I definitely think it's worth doing or giving as a gift. It's always a nice thing to do. Getting back to candles. Um, my second current favourite, now I've had this for a little while, but it is so lovely. It's by True Grace and it's the classic fig candle. True Grace do some beautiful candles. They are at the kind of upper end of prices. So this one was £35. And I know you can buy candles which are much more than that, but I think this one is very nice. And it's very velvety, it's quite strong. And it's in this kind of smoked glass. I don't know how to describe it really, but it is beautiful. I mean, it, this, this scent just fills the room very quickly. Um, it can be a little bit strong, but it's a nice strong so you can handle it because I think some candles often give out a really overpowering smell. Um, I had one that was called Black Pepper, I think, from Bolton Brown, and I found that quite musky, a bit too much, but this one is lovely, and yeah, £35, very nice. This one was given to me as a gift for my birthday, so... I'm very, very grateful for it, but I normally don't like to spend too much on a candle. So this one is a real favorite of mine and it's fig. Can't describe the smell of this one, I'm afraid. Third candle I'm going to talk about is this one by Aldi Peony Blush. Now, I think anyone who's been uh, to Aldi will know that there are some very popular candles that they're doing at the moment and they are very much dupes, if I can say, of the Jo Malone candles, which are priced sort of 40 pounds upwards. I have purchased this for 3.99. This is still brand new, but I have had one before, and it's so nice, it is so nice, and I definitely recommend buying this one if you are thinking of getting something which will fill the room with a nice delicate fragrance. They do so many, but this one I think is my favourite. So I've had, the, I think the pomegranate one was really nice as well. Can't remember if that was number one or number three. This is number 11. Very, very nice. 
I'm just, I've not even lit the candle and I, I love it. And it comes with the sort of the lid as well. And it looks pretty, doesn't it? So yeah, it's nice to have in the home. Um, I tend to keep this one in the living room and yeah, very popular. Candle number four, and it is Summer Beach Party. Yankee, as we know, do some brilliant candles. They certainly know what they're doing, and they do great seasonal candles. But I, I think that they are so good because they burn so well. You know, you don't get that wax stuck at the top of a glass. You definitely get the fragrance with Yankee candles, don't you? It's just a real, you know, it hits you straight away. So I, I'm really impressed with Yankee candles. I always have one in the home, at least. This one I would probably say would be nice in like a guest bedroom or even, you know, if you've got friends and family over and you've just got one downstairs um, burning away. Really, really nice. And it's just a very nice summery one. So yeah, and I love the colour. I love this colour. My final candle is one of my absolute favourites. Very simple Glade candle. It's called With Love. Um, how much did I spend on this one? About four pounds. And it's so beautiful, it's so romantic. It looks pretty when it's burning, it burns very well. I think you get 30 hours with this one. And yeah, it's gorgeous. It's got iris, rose, peach, sandalwood, vanilla, mel melon maybe, I don't know. But they have, they have really done well with this candle. I love it. And it's, you know, for four pounds, so please get yourself one of these. Blade, please don't. Don't discontinue this one. I love them so much. They are brilliant. So those are my current five favourites. If you do like this video, please do like and subscribe. I would love for you to come back and watch more. And do check out Jackie's video as well. I know it's going to be a good one. And hope to see you next time. Have a lovely day wherever you are. Bye.